Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 11.5 constant acceleration formula. 11.5 represents chapter 11, section 5 of the Pearson A level mass applied mass year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. S represents displacement, V represents velocity, A represents acceleration, T represents time. S is your displacement, the velocity is given by differentiating the displacement with respect to time, the acceleration is given by differentiating the velocity with respect to time, alternatively we can differentiate the displacement twice, in other words we can work out d2s over dt squared. If you are given the acceleration, the velocity is equal to the integral of the acceleration with respect to time, if you are given the velocity, the displacement is equal to the integral of the velocity with respect to time. These are the key facts of 11.5 constant acceleration formulae. I'll be implementing these key facts within this exam style question. Let's have a look at the exam style question. A particle moves in a straight line with constant acceleration 5 meters per second per second. Part A, given that its initial velocity is 12 meters per second, use calculus to show that its velocity at time t seconds is given by v equal 12 plus 5t. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So in part A, to find the velocity, we have to integrate the acceleration with respect to time. So the velocity is given by the integral of 5 dt. So v is equal to 5t plus c, the constant of integration. Now the initial velocity is 12 meters per second, so we know that when t is equal to 0, v is equal to 12. Substitute the boundary conditions to work out c, so we've got 12 equal 5 multiplied by 0 plus c. So 12 is equal c which means that the complete equation for the velocity is equal to 5t plus your constant of integration, which is 12. Therefore, v is equal 12 plus 5t as required. Let's have a look at part b. So in part b, given that the initial displacement of the particle 7 meter show that s is equal 12t plus 2.5t squared plus 7. Right, so how do we work out the displacement? Ladies and gents, to find the displacement, we have to integrate the velocity. So s is equal to the integral of 12 plus 5t with respect to t. Using term by term integration, we can see that the first term integrates to 12t plus the second term integrates to 5t squared over 2. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, so we've got 2.5t squared plus c, the constant of integration. So we've got that the initial displacement of the particle 7 meter, so when t is equal 0, s is equal 7, we can substitute the boundary conditions in, so we've got 7 equal 12 lots of 0 plus 2.5 lots of 0 squared plus c, so we've got 7 equal c. We can put the 7 back in, so the complete equation for the displacement s is equal to 12t plus 2.5t squared plus 7 as required. That there completes the exam style question and this teaching video 11.5 constant acceleration formally. If you found this teaching video useful please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.